Welcome to DailyInterviews.com. I'm your host, Larry W. Robinson. I have an exciting guest with me today. Her name is Landria Anka. She is the author of The Rooftop Christmas Tree, which, by the way, is an award-winning bestseller and a 2016 television movie that's going to be coming out on December the 1st, or is it um, the Up Network? Yep, Up Worldwide Entertainment. All right, I'm excited about it. Um, now listen, I came across uh, Landria's videos by, if, if you know me, I have several videos <laughs> on YouTube, by watching my own video. I was just going back to just to kind of <laughs> see what we were doing. And I said, well, who is this person? <laughs> and I and at first I thought, well, wait, is this my video? And I saw my title and all that. But then, of course, I saw her talking about um, uh, um, developing yourself and being better and and, and manifesting power yeah. of beliefs all right, that right, stuff right, yeah. right, right and that came on right before then and then i you said if now if, if you're not interested in this press the skip button yeah so i was like well wait let me just watch a little longer See, i got you larry the right. power of the internet right <laughs> so then from there i watched another video um, and her and you can go with her and I'll have her name under this video, but it's Landria Anka, and you can actually search YouTube and find her channel that way. But she also has a cool video on here titled "A Money Manifesting Ritual." I'm not going to give it away. I want you to go watch it yourself so that yeah. you can see what I did and um, be inspired by it. But first of all, before we get into the heart of our conversation, Landria Anka, welcome to the Daily Interviews. Well, Thank you, Larry. And I got to tell you, when I went and saw what your um, your channel's about, your site, and uh, what your what your message is, I was really excited about this interview. Anybody who's sending out great messages is okay in my viewpoint, and I'm oh. so happy to be here. This is not what I expected because most people <laughs> want to interview me about the book, and you're going into some really my favorite subject, and that's spirituality and the power that we wield, uh, you know, of uh, within ourselves, our beliefs. Right, right, right. Well, again, we, I, I looked at the manifesting money video. Yeah. And I don't want to give it away, but you took a turn and you started talking about yeah. um, the power of belief. Yes. And I I contacted you and and secured today's interview. But then, of course, you know, I'm talking to a buddy of mine and letting him know that I was going to be talking to you today. and. I was bragging on your videos, and um, and then of course we started talking about the, the money video, and then I was telling him what you said, and then he asked a question that yeah. I thought I would ask you today. Let's I just want to dispel the rumor if if we can. He asked. He said that all sounds fine and dandy, but does that work for black people? <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> I and I asked him. I said, do you mind if I ask her that? And he said, please do. So uh, let's talk about the power of belief and, and does it work for all of God's children or just well, a select few? You. you just said it, Larry. All of God's children. All right. I believe in, and I always tell my, my friends or anybody who talks to me that think this is woo-woo stuff, you know, mm -hmm. I ask them, I say, okay, well, let's get away from uh, spirituality. And uh, do you believe in science? Of course, they believe in science. And I said, well, did you know that quantum physics is not a theory? It is a fact that the thoughts of the scientists affect the results of the experiments. That's a fact. Now, you guys can look this up. Anybody who's listening to this can look this up. That blew away everybody. And um, Einstein actually almost refused to believe it. You know, he called it spooky science, you know, and, and that it was unexplainable. But now we have an explanation. And quantum physics doesn't have a color or a culture or a poverty or wealth level. Uh, quantum physics is the power of everything and that to me is God it's the one source that created everything that we all have access to and it comes from our belief system and I say in one of my videos too if you're a Christian and you read the Bible um, there are excerpts where Jesus would not allow non-believers in the same room if he was performing miracles and they, uh, a lot of shamans are the same way. There's a lot of um, uh, history. Greg Braden's somebody who has studied this. 
And the bottom line is the thoughts of the people in the room do affect the results of what's happening. And that's what Christ was doing is performing miracles. He couldn't have somebody that didn't believe in the same room where he was performing things that were supposedly unbelievable that are, we call miracles. So that's, you know, when, when anybody puts a, a color to anything, I say that they're, they need to look further out into what we really are. And that's one beautiful energy that's nothing but love. And we have access to that. We have the power to create and choice. And that's what that video was about. So hopefully people will go, they'll get a kick out of it, I hope. Um, so if yeah. you believe you can, you can. If you believe you can't, you can't. Yes, yes. In fact, uh, and Greg Braid and I have studied a lot of, of his work too, is that he's actually gone up into, you know, the mountains with monks and, and uh, asks them how are they performing these things that they do. And they said that they don't, their prayers are the feeling, the feeling, the beliefs. And um, as you have put so, you know, perfectly is that it's everything's coming from inside. It's coming from in, out, and connecting to that power that doesn't discriminate or differentiate. It just acts on whatever we put it out. It doesn't judge. So if you have negative thoughts or you don't believe you're worthy, then that's exactly what you're going to get back. You can say all the mantras you want, but if you don't believe in here, it's not going to happen. And like I said, that has nothing to do with um, our skin color or anything else. So, but uh, that's my thought on that. And I, I hope that uh, I hope that he. he I'm going to show him our conversation. Yeah, <laughs> come to look at quantum physics and see what so, you know that it goes way beyond um, what I think he's naming. You know. All right, talking today with Landria Anka. Now she is the author of the Rooftop Christmas Tree. It's a book. It's already available um, as we speak. Yeah. And um, I want to talk about you know we uh, before we got on the air we was talking about the law of attraction. Yeah. And you know some people have their 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 qualms about it or whatever, but uh, let's talk about how the truth of the law of attraction and. Uh, um, um, really manifested an opportunity yeah. for your book to become a movie yeah. and that we're going to get to see on December the 1st. Yeah. Well, you know, I was an investment banker for 20 years and I worked on Wall Street and I've seen all of it. Man, I've seen the ups and downs and the corruption and all the crazy stuff that goes along with large amounts of money. Mm -hmm. And I was working crazy hours and I, I just decided, I've always been a writer. I've always been very good at it. I've had awards since I was a kid as a writer. I never thought of it as a... Um, a actual career <laughs> you know you don't think of writers as people can actually sustain a living but um, you know I realized I lost my mother my father and my dog all within a few months of each other suddenly neither they, none of them were sick and so you know I just got bam 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 hit pretty quick and um, really I went to my parents I'm actually writing a book this is one of my books is coming out this year about this I was reading their diaries. I had to clean out the house and nothing had been touched. And uh, Larry, uh, it was really sad because I kept reading year after year unfulfilled dreams, unfulfilled mm -hmm. dreams. And I realized that their lives were gone now and that they couldn't make up for anything that they dreamed of having. And I realized it was time for me to finish that book. And which, by the way, it's based on a true story, it's a miracle. And, and you know, I hope I hope people read it because it's actually a friend of mine who's a judge uh, had this guy come in his courtroom. He keeps putting a Christmas tree on his roof, and nobody knows why. And at the end, you find out why. And it's again, it's the beliefs. It it keeps coming back to beliefs. So when I wrote the book, I never questioned that it was going to be a movie. I never questioned that I was going to be successful with it. I just had a knowing. And I think that that's how things manifested. In fact, my agent called me and said, you're not going to believe this. You not only got picked up for a movie, they are going into production because they'll, they could buy the option and sit on it for years. And uh, she says, I've never had that ever happen, happen, especially with somebody who it's their first book. And she was more surprised than me because I sort of knew it was going to happen. So I, I truly feel that I manifested it through my strong belief that that was was going to happen so 
that's that's how I became a professional writer, and I've got several other books coming out. And they all revolve around belief systems, what we believe, and how many times we're wrong about what we believe, and we need to open up our hearts. And um, so uh, I'll have to send you a, a copy of my next book. It's coming out. It's called A Bell for Christmas. It's, it's the sequel. And uh, so hopefully that'll be uh, a movie next year, too. And then um, uh, and you'll get to see that, again, it's, if you believe it, so, you okay, can So we're, talk, we're talking about belief. Yeah. So what is the cor correlation between belief, but then actually putting the work in or putting action behind your belief? You know, we were talking about the law of attraction yeah. uh, earlier today, or excuse me, the, the, the movie, The Secret. And a lot of yes. the secret was if you just believe it and and, yeah. and, and say your mantra is et cetera, it'll come to pass. But how yeah. much of your beliefs and then your action to back up what you believe? Because, in you know, in scripture, it says faith without works is dead. So how yeah. much work or what kind of work do we need to add to our beliefs? You know, that's a good point because I actually, and I don't know if you saw this uh, um uh, video that I did. I said, you know, the problem with people is they think that they can sit and s say all these mantras and somebody's going to knock on the door and give them a million bucks. You know, they're going to win the lottery. Mm -hmm. And I have several videos that talk about taking action, that you're getting messages all the time, constantly. And we, we disregard them because maybe it's just too out there. Or we, you know, we don't want to believe that, that, that that's what's really it's coming to us but you're getting what you're putting out um, but I absolutely agree with you and that is you know works without action now when I believed uh, that all of these things were going to transpire and I've done this many many times in my life this is not the first time I've spent a whole lifetime doing this when you know you can relax you know, you don't have to work hard. You just relax. And when things come to you, you act on them. When somebody calls you, you know, like you and I connected, mm -hmm. there's a reason for that. You've got to act on it and, and take advantage of all these things. And so many people say, oh, no, 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 that's not the person I want to talk to or that's not the job I want. Yes, maybe it is the stepping stone to where you want to get just act on it and maybe that's not the thing that's going to get you where you want to be it's the stepping stone to there so there are no failures in life there are no failures so I I put myself out there you know I I act on things if it doesn't feel right I go to the next thing I try things and you know I think people are so fearful to try things and put themselves out there and they think they think of things as failure and I don't I don't think there are failures I think there are nothing but learning lessons in life that's what we came here to do so um, so people have to get off the couches and take some action and then just know it's done just be at peace and know that it's done and you know not stress out about it you know you know I and I want to see if you agree I tell people that there is and and I guess in spiritual terms or, or, or uh, religious terms, an ordained audience waiting for why you were dropped here on the planet. Yes. So you don't have to be fearful, envious, yes. jealous, any of that stuff over somebody else that may look like they're doing what you're doing. Because uh, essentially, we kind of do some of the, the same things. I'm yeah. writing and producing videos. Yes. You're doing that. I don't need to be envious about what you're doing and jealous about what you're doing because there's an audience for me and there's an audience for you. And then there's an audience for both of us. Cause and we can help each watch. other, right? We expand right. our abundance by, by connecting with each other. And yes, and that's the whole giving and not being fearful of, you know, the, the, the universe is limitless. You know, God is not limited. I mean, look around you, you know. So, yes, I, I think that people are, you know, when you're coming from a place of, um, and when you say, like, uh, jealousy or all these things, everything's, that's all fear. Everything's fear, fear-based. And when you realize there is, you know, a limitless universe that we can access, all of us, and that by helping each other, we'll only expand not only each other,
but our, you know, ourselves. All the more you give, it it will come back. And I've learned that. That's that's not an easy thing because as Americans, we've always been, you know, we're sort of a me me society, you know. But if you give and open your heart, uh, I do truly believe things will absolutely come back to you tenfold. But you shouldn't go in with those intentions. And I think that's where the secret became a very controversial movie is because I think the intention was what can I get more than really being, you know, putting yourself out there for others and being a, a positive force in this world. Well, even Jesus' teaching says, give and it shall be given unto you. Yes. Good measure, press down, shake Absolutely. Out. With the right intentions. Again, right. it's not like, hey, if I write this check, maybe I'll get whatever. So that's, that's you know, that's not how it works. It's about Give from your heart. Just give, give, give. And by the way, the more I do, it just keeps feeling better and better and better. And I know you do that too, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, it can only it can only come back to you in a positive way. All right. In your opinion, what's the the biggest reason why people don't achieve their dreams? Uh, it's all fear based, and fear comes from our belief systems. Um, I'd say a big part of it is the blueprint of our upbringing. You know, our parents tell us things that their parents told them and their parents told them and, you know, a penny saved is a penny earned and, you know, a rich man, what is the, a rich man that can get into heaven, you know, it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle. I, needle, needle yeah. Yeah. I mean, and, and we're, we have these things ingrained. And so I think, you know, we're, we're already coming in with all of this blueprint and this energy in us that's talking in the back of our heads saying, oh, that's what, you know, rich people do, or that's what those kind of people do, or, you know, that's not what we do, you know, just be happy with whatever. So we've got to break past that and not listen to the naysayers. I always say, you know, if you're going to listen to somebody, listen to somebody who's really doing something you want to do. Right. Listen to the, not just the millionaire, but the millionaire who's doing good things, you know, who's giving. That's, that's who I want to listen to. And so I think people limit themselves, first of all, from what they've been blueprint told. And then they listen too much about what other people say. And then I did a whole video on the one thing for success. I don't know if you watched it. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to say what it is? Sure, sure, sure. All right. The key to success in everything that I have ever done and I believe is never quit. That sounds way too simple never quit and I'm not telling people to stick with something that's not working I just say okay never quit not it's like oh I tried I tried to drill oil and it didn't happen and they quit right mm -hmm. no you move the drill over a few feet right, and then right. you drill there and that's what people they convince themselves oh I tried and they walk away but the truly successful people in life the ones that are abundant they never quit and they hang in there and um, good things come to them eventually right. so talking to Landria Anka she's the author of the rooftop Christmas tree now you can visit our website cool website by the way <laughs> uh, LandriaAnka.com and that is L-A-N-D-R-I-A-O-N-K-K-A dot com LandriaAnka dot com Quick question, what yes. advice do you have for someone that's sitting on a story on the inside of them and they want to get it on the pages of a book? Oh, okay. I actually have a whole website. And if you go to LandriAnka.com, you can sign up for, I have free lessons that I give about that. Okay. Now, yeah, I give my whole um, uh, path of how I did it based on my own success. There's many, many ways. But if somebody wants to write a book, self-publishing I self-published that's the way to go and there's so many ways you can do it without spending a lot of money the internet is so powerful you can get it out there to massive audiences right YouTube's free <laughs> yes right. there we go and you can reach people you just have to know how to do it and um, again take some action but I absolutely say write 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 and you know the biggest thing people don't do they sit on a book for years 
I don't know, they, if they don't think they're good enough or whatever, I say, speak from your heart. We want to hear somebody talking. If we can relate to the story, you will get an audience. Right. It does, you know, we don't have to be Shakespeare. I, I know I'm not. So tell a good story, and uh, that's all you need. That you know, and I had somebody good. tell me recently about my book. I just love the fact you went straight to the point. You didn't go all around the merry-go-round. To yes. tell me what I opened this book to find out. So Yeah, you know what? You just named it. That's the key. And and in one of my lessons I actually say, you know, we changed our style of writing because we think we're supposed to be all flowery right, and cool. Right, I actually right. did that. My mom edited my book the first time and said, uh I she, she didn't like the main character. I said, oh, What? No. <laughs> she goes, I don't like your character. And I said, I was try she was I was making her into something I thought was cool and then when I started to speak from my heart right. Sarah the main character is actually a lot like me she loves the animal she tries to do good things she has her faults you know so when you're speaking people pick up on that but you're That's right true. yeah when you write you're getting to the point you're you're talking to people. They, it's like Larry sitting in the room speaking. Right, and that's what right. they love about you. Yeah. Right. All right. Leandria Unka, the rooftop Christmas tree. Go pick up a copy today. Also go to her website, find some other cool things. And then on December the 1st, on the Up Entertainment Network Worldwide, you can check out the movie, The Rooftop Christmas tree. Now, is there a trailer that they can watch or that's forthcoming? Yeah, they actually just finished filming and um, Michelle Morgan, who's in Heartland, and Tim Reed, I don't know if you remember, you're probably too young to remember yeah. WKRP in Cincinnati. Right, right, right. Tim, Tim Reed's in it and um, uh, a couple other actors that do a lot of Hallmark movies and that. So they'll be putting up a trailer soon and when I get that, I'll send it to you. Cool, and cool. So cool. you can share it, but... Um, but yeah, and if you go to my website, of course, I'll keep everybody up to date on there. I've got a lot of pictures and scenes from the movie when they were filming on there, too. So. All right. Andrea Anka, thank you so very much. Gary, <laughs> you are me. awesome. Thank you for sending messages out to people that we need more Larrys in the world. Oh, bless you. Any final thoughts and comments you have for our listeners today? You know, again, I just think that people need to put down all of the negative thoughts shut down the thinking and just open your hearts and connect to the universe it's going to give you everything you want and then some it's limitless and so are we all right landria anka go to her website landriaanka.com <laughs> again thank you for joining me for today's conversation thanks larry i appreciate it all right bless you